Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about the launch of Dragonflight and what you want to do on day one in order to make a lot of gold. So as you can imagine, a lot of activities and items are going to be extremely interesting and lucrative during the first few hours after the launch of Dragonflight. And so what I want to do in today's video is explain what are all these different things you can do in order to make some quick and easy goal during the first few days of Dragonflight. So one thing that is very important to mention is that what I would recommend you to do is first just do the first few quests of the main campaign and try to get Dragon Riding because like that you will be able to do all the different activities way way faster and like that you will be able to make even more gold. So this is really something I would encourage you to do before trying any of these techniques. So if you picked mining or herbalism, I would say that this is really one of the first things that you want to do. You will be able to make quite a lot of gold with all these different professions. And really keep in mind that in the first few days, this is really when all these different items won't have a clear value and also they will have a huge demand. So you will be able to sell these items for a huge amount of gold when maybe later even like one or two weeks after that the value might decrease a little bit so really if you have uh, these different professions i would highly recommend you to try to focus a little bit on that also as you can see you will earn quite a lot of xp and if you don't have the auction house mount the brutozor what i would encourage you to do is maybe every one or two hours just go to one of the main cities where there is an auction house available there is i Think maybe they might have one in uh, Valdraken, the main city as well, and sell all these different items because they will sell very fast and for a lot of gold. So try to do that, and like that, you will make a lot of really interesting sales. Another activity that is going to be pretty interesting during the first few hours and probably during the first few days after the launch is simply fishing. Fishing is something you will be able to learn directly after you arrive in the Dragon House and this is something that you will be able to do directly even in the open waters at the area where you arrive when you land on the Dragon House. Basically with fishing you will be able to get first of all all the different fish that I'm sure you will be able to sell for quite a lot of gold during the first few hours. You will also be able to get some of the Dark Moon cards that you will be able to sell then for quite a lot of gold uh, on the auction house and finally you will get some of these draconic recipe in a bottle that will reward you with some recipes that you can then sell on the auction house so all these different things will be extremely valuable during the first few days especially if you're playing on a high pop realm all these recipes will sell for probably a lot of gold and there is also one thing i would encourage you to do if you end up getting this item that will launch a quest that you can then complete by just coming here in the owner and planes in this cave, you will have access to this vendor, the Great Sog, and like that, you will be able to actually use all these different coins that you can get when you're fishing to buy some of these bags. And inside these different bags, you will be able to get a lot of very interesting items. So I would highly encourage you to do that because you will be able, to, like that, to make a lot of gold. And especially again in the first few days, this is when all these items will sell for the most gold. Another interesting activity is going to be skinning. So if you are playing on a character that has skinning, it's going to be very good, especially because with the recent changes that Blizzard decided to implement into the game, basically, even if someone else decides to skin one of the mobs that has been killed, you will sti still be able to also skin him. And this is something that you will be able to do on all these different mobs. And as you can imagine, a lot of people are going to kill all these mobs, especially here when you will arrive. And so you will be able to skin all these different mobs. And like that, you will be able to get quite a good amount of lever. And then you will be able to sell everything for a good price on the auction house. Again, keep in mind, I think really skinning is going to be extremely good for maybe the first one or two weeks. But after that, I'm pretty sure the prices are going to crash. But for the first few days and especially the first few hours you will be able to make a huge amount of gold so if you are skinning really just spend a little bit of time and you will make quite a lot of gold so another thing you might want to do is to simply kill all the different mobs that can drop all the materials that will be extremely important for 
all the different crafting. So these items are the roasting uh, materials that you can then combine in order to create some awakened fire, water, earth, and everything. Usually the ones that sell for the best price, let's say, are the fire ones. So in the first map, in the walking shore, you will be able to come here and farm a lot of them. You can farm then the air ones here. You will have some of the like earth ones over there. So you will be able to farm these. And usually these items are selling for a lot of gold, but especially again during the first few days. Keep in mind, for instance, in order for people who have inscription to craft some of these dark moon cards, they will need a lot of these items. So these items are going to sell extremely fast and for a lot of gold. So if you have a little bit of time on your end, just spend a little bit more time farming for some of these items. Maybe some groups will be up in the group search. Just have a look and maybe you will find some uh, people to farm all these different materials with them. Another thing I would really recommend you to do is to either sell all the different green BOEs that you will receive on the auction house because you never know. Some people might try to get some better items and might just buy some of these items. Or you are, if you have an enchanter, you might want to just send everything to your enchanter. Just have your enchanter go to the dragon house. You will be able to learn directly uh, the dragon fight version of enchanting. And like that, you will be able to simply get all the different dust and all these essences from these items. And you will be able to sell all these items for a lot of gold. So this is something I would recommend you to do. Don't vendor all these green items because you will be able to make way more gold just by having an enchanter and if you don't have an enchanter just make one of these direct here just have him ready and when dragonfight launch just keep all these green items then have your track tier or any other character that's as enchanting go do the first few quests pick up uh, enchanting when you arrive in the working shore just here at the entrance in the first town and then send all these green items to this character and like that you will be able to get all the different materials that you can then sell for a lot of gold. So of course what's also going to be extremely good is simply crafting all the different dark wind cards and then of course crafting all the different dark wind decks. So the dark wind decks are going to sell for a lot of gold during the first few days. These are going to be some of the best trinkets that any players can find and you can buy them directly from the auction house. So trust me, you will be able to make a lot of gold if you craft some of these cards and if you are successful in crafting some of the decks. So this is something you should do if you have a character with inscription. I will personally have my main character with inscription and probably like herbalism or something like that. But really trust me, you will be able to make a lot of gold if you pick up Inscription, make sure to have your specialization in the Dark Moon decks and everything. And like that, you will be able to make a lot of gold with all these different Dark Moon decks. Another very important thing you want to do is craft all the different blue BOEs that you will then be able to sell in the auction house through all the different professions. So, for instance, here, if I take the different uh, professions that I have, so I have Inscription, right now, and Blacklisting, as you can see, I will be able to craft some of these items and pretty easily. And these items, trust me, will sell for a lot of gold because this is a pretty good eye level and people who are reaching level 70 will definitely need some of these weapons in order to then start doing the dungeons and everything. So if you have enough time and enough resources, I would definitely recommend you to do that because like that, you will be able to make quite a lot of gold in my opinion and again this is something that you should be able to do pretty easily as soon as you start unlocking all the different recipes as you can see here for instance with blacksmithing it's going to be between level 20 to 40 that you will be able to craft all these different weapons so this is something you might want to do and i'm sure you will be able to make a lot of gold by selling all these items on the auction house Another potential really good activity is going to be BOE farming. Unfortunately, it hasn't been confirmed yet whether they will have some new world BOEs introduced into the game in Dragonflight or not. Right now, we just know that some of these raid BOEs will be introduced into the game, but the new raid won't be available before two weeks after the release of Dragonflight. 
So if some new world BOEs are available, what I would definitely recommend is for you to do some group farms and try to get some of these BOEs because you will be able to make a lot of gold during the first few days if you get your hands on some of these BOEs. But again, this is something we will have to wait and see. And unfortunately, if there isn't really any new world BOEs, then that's not going to be one of the activities you want to focus on, of course. And finally, what I want to talk about is, of course, flipping. So whether it is materials or like BOEs or things like that, you will be able to make quite a lot of gold by flipping. But I'm only putting it last because, as I mentioned, during the first few days, it's very difficult to know what is the real value of all the different items that will be available on the auction house. And so sometimes it's going to be very risky to actually try and flip some items because the value might actually decrease a lot afterward. So for flipping, I would maybe recommend you to wait maybe a few days and only if you see some really, really good opportunities, you might want to jump on them. But otherwise, it's a very tricky activity that I would only recommend to people who well, are ready to spend a little bit of gold and take the risk. But again, this is something that might, you know, make you rich only if you are kind of lucky and ready to take the risk. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope it will help you make some quick and easy gold during the first few days of Dragonflight. Keep in mind again that after that, there will have a lot of other activities that you want to also focus on, such as, for instance, the different crafting professions, trying to upgrade all these different recipes, try to then unlock all the different recipes, go with the crafting orders and everything. But here, I really wanted to focus on what you can do during the first few hours and first few days without having to think about the long-term investment of all these other activities. And hopefully, you will be able to still make a decent amount of gold with all these other things. So I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a good weekend. Bye.